Hey everybody, welcome aboard, Captain Mike here. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update, not going anywhere, flight deck's nowhere near ready for that. Um, I decided to give up on my Frankenstein idea of combining X-Plane with uh, 2020. Um, it would be nice if someone could get that going with Simlink, that would really be great, but A, it's beyond my ability, and B, I just couldn't figure it out any other way. So... I decided to go another route. I have MS-2020 up and I've cut my uh, flight deck down from five computers down to three and I've been working with uh, ProSim um, for the past couple of days. Um, it, it makes it difficult because I only have 30 minutes per session and a couple of times when I was in here setting up my buttons and uh, enunciators and whatnot. Um, it shut down on its own and I, everything got wiped out. I had to start over again. Um, but it is looking promising. Um, all the glass displays work. I know they're not up. I'm using that connector so I can film this. But all the glass displays work. The CDUs are set up. I've got just about all the radios up and in. Um, a lot of the switches have been programmed. All of the... Uh, indicator lights have been uh, enunciators have been uh, set up I don't know if some of them are right they may not be there's so many options in there I'm just it would be nice if they made uh, a couple of import files for uh, a full flight deck for a particular company you know like open cockpits flight deck solutions Sysmo so you really wouldn't have to go through this but it's a nice learning experience but uh, it's just taken me forever and I uh, I don't know where these files get saved and I'm hoping that they don't get wiped out again. I work for 20 minutes and then I shut it down and then I take the ProSim folder and I move it over. I don't know if it's in there. I'm hoping if we do get wiped out, if I put that back, it comes back. I don't know. Um, I did notice on the ProSim website that they do have a 30-day um, key available to try it out. Um, I wrote them. I'm still waiting for them to get back to me. And um, I don't know if you have to purchase a software before you have access to their forum. Um, but the forum, I would imagine, would be uh, most helpful as well to help me get this going. Um, so I'm waiting to see, hear from them to see if uh, they still have that 30-day activation or if I have to do it this way the rest of the way. But it certainly looks like we're going to be running uh, MS-2020 with ProSim in the not-too-distant future. Um, but for those of you that were just waiting around to see X-Plane and MS-2020 being combined to see if I could do it, I just want to let you know that I've stopped working on that, basically. It was just too much. Um, everything lined up, airport to airport to airport, because I even checked with Navigraph, and the two of them worked together well. But uh, once you get in the air, it's just a mess, because the yoke and the rudder pedals and all that have to be exact. So the aircraft follow each other with what I wanted to do. And well, that was just impossible. So anyway, um, for those of you that were waiting for that interaction, it's beyond my ability. Sorry. And I'm going to try and get back to work and see if I can figure out what I've missed or what I screwed up in here. Um, and uh, I'll keep you posted and uh, I'll catch you on my next update, everybody. Take care.